Well, a couple of days ago, it was 78 degrees, sunny, and the forecast looked pretty good except for the storms that came through Sunday night and brought with it a little cold front. But even then, the long range forecast showed it was just going to drop down to about 40 degrees for a night and then bounce right back up into overnight lows in the 50s. Well, the forecast and reality changed. We're actually getting some flurries right now. Uh, the highs today are supposed to be in the 40s, and then tonight, maybe down to around 30 degrees. I got everything in the ground just about tomatoes, peppers, squash, zucchini. I got to do something, I got to do it quick. We're going to deal with these freezing temperatures tonight. The freeze warning that we have is in effect until 9 a.m. Tuesday, tomorrow. So uh, I've got to do something to get us through the night. I don't have enough film to throw over the greenhouses and uh, set some heaters up. So I'm going to have to do something else and hope that it works. Let me show you what it is. The shade cloth that I bought last year uh, also doubles as a frost and germination blanket. So I'm going to use this tonight and put it over the plants and hopefully that'll be enough. Now some alternatives that you could use in your own beds if you've already planted, you could cut the bottoms off of two liter bottles or you could also use tomato cages and trash bags. If you do that, make sure that the trash bags don't touch your plants because if the bags freeze and they're touching the plants, it's going to transfer that, that frozen material and moisture right onto your plants and kill those parts of the plants. Now for my squash and zucchini, I'm going to take a couple of these uh, holy open, open air bottom uh, plant baskets and I'm just going to place over them. That way I keep the fabric off of the plants. And then I'm going to drape the fabric across them. Now I'll just roll this fabric out and once I got it to the length I want, I'll take a box cutter and, and cut it. Now because this frost blanket is, uh, it allows air and light to pass through, I'm, I'm leaving it doubled over and I'm just going to lay it over this stuff and then add a little weight across the top to keep the winds, which are pretty high today, from blowing it away. Hopefully that will be enough. Can't believe we've had flurries today. It's the 14th of April. Reaganite Senior always said, it's zone 7B, boy. You can't plan on planning for sure and be safe until April 15th. Well, it's April 14th, and we've got snow flurries. Now, because I don't want the blankets to freeze up and then touch the plants, I've put some uh, tomato cages in the beds and I'm going to layer the frost blanket over those cages, that way they're not actually touching the plants. Down on the other end, the peppers are still low enough that these cross stakes will actually give me the protection I need there. So I'll be okay, I'll just layer, layer the blanket over here and then just put some weight on it. Now if this doesn't work, I'll probably be starting my new YouTube Florida travel channel early next week. And over here I've got my squash covered with the little baskets. And now we'll just throw a blanket over it here and put some weight on. Hopefully that'll do the trick. Well, Lord willing and the creek don't rise, this here will work. I hope so. Now, if you don't have these kind of frost blankets, there are other things that you can do. You can use a two liter bottle, just cut the bottom off, leave the cap on, and put those down over your plants, just, you know, if the plants are small enough. The other thing you can do is use tomato cages and wrap them with trash bags that will provide you some protection from the frost, of course, as long as the leaves aren't touching the bags, because when the bag freezes, anything touching the bag will probably freeze also. The other thing that you can do is take milk jugs or 
whole two liter bottles, fill them up with warm water in the evening, take them out there and put them underneath whatever you're using to cover, and that will help hold some heat in. And hopefully it'll get you through these light frosts. We'll see if it works. Keep your fingers crossed. Guys, this is Reagan 971. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Maybe with Florida travel videos. <laughs>